Hi everyone, Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV. Well, today we're gonna wrap up the COVID Chronicles, the Corona Chronicles, all these videos we've done to take you through the Newmar lineup. We're gonna throw a little bit of curveball at you. I know I promised you a 2020 New Air uh, to close it out. But our 2021 New Air got here, so you'll have to forgive me if I show you a 2021 New Air instead of a 2020 New Air. So this is the 3543 floor plan, and it is a 2021, one of the only ones in the country. These are the ones uh, Newmar built to bring to the dealer show. Um, they are pristine and they are ready to go. This uh, is for sale currently at Mount Comfort RV and the window sticker's not in it yet, so I can't give you the price, but Tony's gonna flash it up on the screen right now. I love giving Tony some editing work. All right, so as we go through here, we are going to uh, show you everything we can walking through this um, without spending too much time in any one particular area, but I know you do want a good thorough walkthrough, so that's what we're gonna do. The first things I noticed, my first impressions on this, this is a wood we've had before. This is the sable maple, so that's, that's nothing uh, new there but it almost looks darker than before. It almost looks black now. They didn't change it, but what happened was they lightened the furniture package. This was always a popular setup for us, the dark cabinets with the light furniture, because of the big contrast. It just looks so rich. But when you go to even a lighter furniture, uh, this furniture is almost white, um, next to these almost black cabinets. The contrast is the first thing I noticed when I walked in uh, to this coach a few weeks ago when I first saw it in April. So looks amazing all the way through, but the big thing, first big thing I think you would notice walking through is just the, the contrast between the, the light furniture and countertops and the dark cabinetry. So without further ado, let's look at some things um, up here in the cockpit area. Well, the first thing uh, we're going to notice, I made note of this on the, the previous short video we did on this, was this part right here. They seem to have changed the steering wheel emblem. It now says Spartan. Spartan is an option on the new air. I thought uh, Spartan would have jumped into this um, a year before they did. Um, I thought, it, honestly, in 19 or 20, they would have gotten into it uh, for this because this is certainly um, a, a good application for them. Um, but they, they uh, waited until 2021, so here we are offering a Spartan chassis. That doesn't mean a Freightliner chassis is a bad thing. I like a Freightliner chassis. The two chassis are very comparable to one another, and I don't think it should be anybody's number one buying decision. I can tell you some of the differences more in detail. I'm not going to go into that on this video. We're happy to have the Spartan uh, platform. Just choices are always better in the RV industry. If you can have two vendors supplying you something, um, they're going to keep each other uh, pushing with research and development. Uh, and uh, also that helps kind of keep pricing down. As long, when one manufacturer has has uh, exclusivity, they can kind of name their price on that whatever that component is. So having some uh, competition there is always a good thing in my opinion. Um, so Sparty chassis, um, we do still have push button start on here. Hold the brake down. Hold the button in, and just like that, she roars to life. Let me move the steering wheel so you can get a good shot. Okay. How's that? So you can see the typical Sparty gauges that we've seen on some other items. This coach has a 146 mile. Oh, that's trip odometer. This coach probably has a few more miles than that on it. Uh, 332. There's the odometer. 332 miles on this coach. You can see all your fuel and temperature and air gauges uh, across the top, and then things like your tachometer will rev it up there a little bit show you that working um, and the uh, uh, speedometer all that good stuff so th that just shows you a little bit um, about what this coach is equipped with they did change also over here this is a new menu based system with uh, the radio um, that's definitely a, a, an upgrade it's every all the same things are there it's just laid out a little differently I think the menu is a little friendlier there um, I'm gonna go back to menu and then we're going to go to camera control. All right, and then I can tell it to turn on the 360 camera. So right over here, you can see all the way around this coach. And that is a very handy feature to keep you from uh, hitting something you shouldn't. Your controls for your adjustable pedals and your visor up, visor and shade up in front here, generator control, heat from the Oasis system up front here, door locks, air horn. Why is air horn off? Air horn should never be off. Numar, eliminate the air horn button, always on should be the, the default setting there. Come on. Um, then we'll go over to the driver's left. We have our headlight control and our air brakes. 
as well as a nice little charging station. I've got my cell phone up there charging now. USB and auxiliary inputs if you wanted to either charge something um, or uh, use your uh, headphone jack off your phone and plug into right here. You can um, play what's coming through your phone um, on the main stereo system, which does sound very good with the JBL speakers. You can also do that through Bluetooth as well. Dual cup holders. Then we have our traction control, engine brake, and our power window controls right here. We do keep the blind shut, it just the cameras work so much better with the blind shut. This is a power window that slides back and forth though. Our transmission controls in the traditional setting over here. That's going to be one big difference between the, uh, between the uh, uh, Freightliner and the Spartan chassis. Uh, Spartan left the controls, a push button control over here, where Freightliner has it on a stock on the right hand side of the steering wheel. And your HWH computerized leveling system is to the driver's left. Um, on the steering wheel, we have our Bluetooth controls. Uh, this does have built-in built Bluetooth to the chassis. Uh, we still have our wiper controls here as well. Um, and that's one difference also between this and the um, uh, Freightliner chassis. And then this menu kind of scrolls through all of our different settings and it'll get us to our comfort drive and all that good stuff. So a lot of similarities between the two chassis and even the controls of the two chassis, but there are some subtle differences. Um, they both have the foot controlled tilt wheel, tilt and telescope wheel, where you just put your foot on a little pedal down there to the left and you can put this wheel anywhere you want it and then stop it and it'll, it'll stay there. Two drawers underneath here, pretty traditional for, for Numar. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and shut the engine off, no reason to burn that fuel. So we'll shut that down. Um, our camera system, of course, not only do we have backup cameras and side cameras, but like I mentioned, we do have the 360 camera. We do have built-in navigation onto this as well. This has the Rand McNally built in. So that's something you're going to have on here. Um, AM, FM, stereo, uh, of course, with the JBL speakers. Uh, so that's, that's just a handful of things to talk about on here. Both driver and passenger seats do turn around and do become recliners. I, I like to mention that on these coaches. You know, I've said before on a 43-foot coach, I don't know that you always spin those seats around, but certainly on the smaller the smaller the coach, I think the more often you're going to use these. These are flex steel furniture. They're very, very comfortable. They both recline. They uh, both give you a TV viewing angle, which is wonderful. Um, so I, I think that becomes more and more important on these smaller coaches. So very comfortable seating uh, throughout this coach. We also have a flex steel hide-a-bed sofa. So this is a hide-a-bed uh, that folds out, and you actually sleep this way on it when the hide-a-bed is opened up. As we go through here, you will see also our ottomans have storage underneath them, or this flips over and becomes a coffee table. So it kind of gives you that same um, effect as having the two recliners here. But with the two recliners, of course, you lose the, the hide-a-bed. With this, we still have our queen-size hide-a-bed, and you can still sit two or even three people here straight across from uh, the Televator TV. So uh, the Televator pops up here at the dinette. This is a Eurobooth dinette. This, this is very, very comfortable. It does not make a bed. This, in my opinion, is the most comfortable dinette out of any of them. Uh, so uh, before you knock a booth dinette, try this because it's actually a very comfortable place to sit and have a meal. There's storage under both of the uh, booth seats. All right, let's get into some of our overhead storage. We're going to start over the sofa here. Okay. We've talked about many times the lined cabinets. That helps keep things quieter. Uh, the struts that hold the doors up, um, and those struts also pull down on the door, so they, they help keep the door um, solidly closed so you don't have the rattling or the noise going down the road there. All right. Nice storage all the way through. Oops, I forgot to turn some lights on here. What's going on? Overhead lights on. There we go. So our new lighting controls for 2020 and for 2021 are these touch button button pads. Let's get a good shot of this, Tony. There's the home screen on it. So you can see I can control the lighting, the shades, the fans, the system. So you see all the different things I can choose from here. You know, if I want to bring my shades up, the controls for that are there. I can do lighting um, of a lot of different areas. And they've, they have these panels located throughout the coach. So it gives you a lot of different controls. Not everything that the Silverleaf system will do, um, but a lot of the different controls that you might need sitting there uh, are, are right here on this screen. So uh, definitely uh, a, a big improvement there um, from, from some previous years. That came out in 2020, by the way. Let's get to some of the storage on this side. Okay, I'm going to duck under the camera. <laughs> there we go. There's our Blu-ray player right below our Bose system. 
There's room for a satellite receiver in here as well, or any other electronics that you might want to put in here. Okay. All right, some extra pantry space here. This is an adjustable shelf right above the fireplace. Now the fireplace can put out heat, and that's a wonderful thing. Um, a coach this small, that fireplace can heat this coach up unless it's really, really cold outside. Fireplace will do the job. Or, like today it's nice outside, we just have that on for a little ambiance in here. Tony and I like the ambiance. All right, let's look at some of the overhead kitchen storage. Nice pull out here with an adjustable shelf above it. This shelf is also adjustable. Anytime you can get the adjustable shelves, that really doubles, effectively doubles the space of the cabinet. So uh, I always like to point those out. I, I apologize if sometimes things get repetitive on the videos, but I think they're important things. I try not to point out things that, that don't mean anything, but things that I think are important we, we do try to, to focus on. This is a Whirlpool, um, Numar uses this a lot, 30-inch 30, 30 convection microwave oven. Uh, underneath, you can see we have the true induction, two burner cooktop, and it is undermounted. I love the undermount stuff just because when you're not using it, be it your sink or your, your uh, cooktop, it just goes away. This is one big stainless steel sink, again undermounted. This is a pull down sink sprayer. Nice big window. That's been improved over the years. Oh, it's got me. Our sound's still working, Tony? Okay, I got a nod. Tried to pull my microphone cable. How rude. Okay, so pull out for the uh, uh, trash can there. Then we got to flip down here in front of the sink. More storage here. I love the lights in there. And then drawers. These are the soft closed drawers. I'll show you that here in just a second. So four of them, and then to close them, just get them close and they pull themselves in. How slick is that? Again, the thing I like about that, it's not that, hey, hey, it's cool they close themselves. You don't have those little plastic latches on there that inevitably break, uh, number one. But number two, that those, those drawer glides actually pull in on the drawer once it gets close. The more things are being pulled closed instead of just latching closed, latches can rattle and make noises. Those are, those are uh, positive um, force on there to, uh, to keep things quiet. Look at your utensil drawer. That's, that's impressive. All right, and we have a dishwasher. Okay, so there's a little bit about this much of the kitchen area. Let's take this one step further. How about an LED lit refrigerator? If you purchase this coach, we will take out this foam for you. But if you want it, you can keep it. Ice maker with drawer freezer. And then, love the pantry. First of all, look at how lit that is. Yikes, those are locked. There we go. That's new. I had not noticed that before. These are locking now. You lift up just a smidge on them. No, you don't. You push in. I'm learning. See, Numar doesn't tell me everything. There we go. So that locks to keep them from bailing out on you. Nice new feature. Just noticed it. Huh. One of the nice things about the 35-foot version of the new air is we went to a king bed. That was one of the initial complaints about the new air. Everybody loved the concept. I mean, it's one of the most well-received products I've, I've ever uh, been, been uh, a part of bringing to the market. Um, and, and there were just a couple of little complaints on, but one of the big ones was, uh, we want a king bed. Well, it took them a few years, but last year, of course, they came out with the 35-footer. And on the 35-foot platform, you, uh, along with getting a bigger engine, uh, you definitely got the king-size bed as well. So that's that's been something a lot of people have been looking for. There is still storage under the bed. This is a sleep number bed. You can see the pump sitting down there. All right. We have our Splendid stackable washer-dryer. And then I'm going to just open that closet and get out of Tony's way, let him get that. There's a safe back there. Your circuit breakers are back there. The shoe shelf is built into the back wall. Your two extra chairs for the dinette are in there also. Okay. 
have to kind of get in here. All right, so it's hard to see, but we have an outlet back here on the back wall, right here in the center. All right, that outlet is to power a CPAP machine. I mean, technically, you can power whatever you want for it if you buy this coach, but it was designed for a CPAP machine. Then there's those little plugs that Tony's showing you now. Those pop out and open up, and they allow for hoses from the CPAP machine to drop down through. More and more people are using CPAPs. Newmar is aware of that, and they're paying attention. Uh, love the rear window here. This is just a great way to dress it up. All right, so these do slide either direction. So this just looks a lot better than a plain old window, but also, more importantly, I can tell you from staying in some coaches in cold weather, even with dual pane windows, you can get some cold air coming off of the window. And if you're a bald guy like me, you can feel that cold air on top of your head. I've actually had that happen before. One extra layer between you and that cold air is, is just going to make this coach so much more comfortable. They definitely open up wide enough to still be egress windows. Uh, so good setup there. We can turn our speakers off and on to the bedroom. These are what are, are tied to the uh, dash radio. Now your dash radio can be used anytime. It doesn't have to be key on to do that. So um, you can use your dash radio, turn on some music back here and not have it playing out there or vice versa. Just depends on what you want. Both sides of the bed have outlets and USB ports on them. So there's for charging our toys. All right, Tony, I'm closing you in. Beautiful pocket door. I don't know why I talk louder just because I closed the door. I have a microphone on. That doesn't really make sense, but I actually spoke louder. All right, we didn't go over the storage here. We have six drawers. Three like this. Three like that. Impressive size. Do have a nice Samsung. I believe that's a 43-inch TV, if memory serves, and another little outlet here. So um, all kinds of places to charge our devices, plug whatever we need in. Above, storage all the way across and a blu-ray player with room for a satellite receiver all right we skipped the bathroom elbow room in the bathroom how nice is that elbow room in the shower 35 foot coach this is nice this is a lot of space this is all tile it's gorgeous the floors of the rock the the river rock tile looks beautiful built-in marble shelves don't show my wife this she'll have me remodeling the bathroom that's not good have shampoo holder or if you're like me it would be soap soap and soap and yeah shampoo not really my thing um and then uh, it does have a seat in here for when you want to shave your legs we've talked about the emergency egress door on other videos if you have questions about this we've done videos just on the emergency egress door please just google mount or just go to youtube and put in mount comfort rv emergency egress door and you will find this um, so that that is so much nicer than just a window i mean you can't really think too much about safety because you never know what's going to happen uh, this is on the opposite side of your entry door which could have some possibilities in, in, in a real emergency um, so great way to get out of the coach if you ever really need shelving to. behind it and i love the uh, that there's an outlet inside this cabinet again if you have a little rechargeable beard trimmer or something like that great place for it more storage here all right storage and more storage i can't get out of the way <laughs> it's hard to film in the bathrooms that is our that is our forever challenge probably wouldn't hurt if i lost a few pounds okay so i think that just about covers most of the features on the inside of this coach absolutely gorgeous gorgeous coach on the inside i think you're going to like it with the slides in as well we're going to show you with the slides in then we'll show you the outside Okay, I'm standing in the bedroom. Um, I could lay down on the bed. The entire king size bed is available to me. I could take a nice little nap, uh, be in pretty good shape there. As I come forward, if I wanted a snack out of the pantry, it's snug in here, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not a small guy, but I'm coming through here. Belly didn't rub, got very close, but able to get through there with no problem. Same thing, I can get into this half of the refrigerator, but we all know what I want would be on the other half. So I can also get in here and into the drawer freezer. I could boil water going down the road if I wanted to, but I probably wouldn't. Right in here is very roomy. Into the bathroom with the pocket door is, is a piece of cake. That's very roomy. As you come through here, you are going to go sideways, but it's not tight. 
right through. So for a 35 footer with an amazing amount of space when the slides are open, you still got decent walkway and everything when the sides are closed. One thing I did forget to talk about in here was the, I love the camera, uh, camera, the monitor uh, for the passenger seat. You can actually change the source on that and you can either be looking at the 360 camera, which an extra set of eyes when you're in a tight spot is great. Um, I, I'm telling you right now, I'd have my, if I was in a tight gas station or something, I'd tell my wife, you watch my corners on the camera and I'll watch the, uh, the mirrors and, and we'll get out of this. Um, but also um, you could turn that to be a GPS as well, to be watching the GPS on there. Um, and be a good navigator. You know, it's, it's difficult because forever they've tried to figure out the best dash layouts. And when they make a, a wraparound cockpit like what you have in the, in the new area here where things are very uh, ergonomically correct for the driver, well, the passenger can't see the monitor or the cameras at all. And, and of course, you know, driving an RV, it helps to have an extra set of, set of eyes out there. And uh, with, the, with the extra little monitor camera, you can certainly do that. All right, without further ado, we're going to go take a look at the outside of this beautiful bus. All right, I told you it was beautiful on the outside as well. Here's our 35, 43, 2021 model year, new Mar, new air. Let's get to looking at it. New freezer for this year. Still a Dometic, looks like a slight redesign of the old version. Doesn't look, I don't see anything night and day different. This is a 12 volt or 110 volt uh, refrigerator or freezer either one and one thing I always point out is even with your slide fully extended this comes out far enough to still make this useful which is a great idea of course dual fuel fill fill from either side easy in and out of the gas station aluminum wheels because they look cool and run cool look at this pass through storage here that goes almost all the way through this is some of the added storage you get with it being two feet longer okay before I forget We'll show you the Samsung and the Bose on the outside, on the, on the pivot. I like having, again, you can't get enough outlets in a coach. This is uh, 110 volt and um, USB out here. Just a nice little place to charge your cell phone on the outside of the coach. This one is optioned in with the power trays. Look at that. I'll get out of the way. Now you can really look at that both power trays. One of the neat things they do with the chassis of the new air is it's actually designed as a straight rail chassis and then they kind of cut out the center rail to create all of this extra space and with all of this extra space and um, with with new Mars star foundation they don't need that center rail in there. This is approved by Freightliner and and Spartan. That, that this coach has all the strength you're ever going to need and then some, but they've been able to eliminate that center rail and it just, it gives you a, a, a Dutch star amount of storage in a, uh, in a much smaller platform. So that's a beautiful thing. In this compartment, a little bit of storage here. We've stored uh, like the extra tiles and uh, the, the uh, tools for the vacuum kit. There's some computer control boxes for slide rooms and awnings and that type of thing in here. But again, you don't want to waste that storage. You certainly don't want to put too much in here because there's some sensitive electronics, but you don't want to waste it. There are LED lights in all of these compartments. There's a master switch up front. Um, and if it's on, if any compartment is open, uh, any one of these buttons is released, it lights up all of the compartments throughout the coach. Nice storage here. Of course, we have the docking lights. Those are hard to see, but we'll get a shot of those in a minute. Uh, the docking lights just keep you from hitting that picnic table as you're backing into your favorite uh, uh, camping spot. Uh, these are chassis batteries here for starting the engine and running the, the chassis. Uh, Spartan does a great job of putting the filters easy to get to. They're right in the side compartment here, so that's wonderful. Of course, we have our masterpiece finish. Of course, the slides are flush mount, the things we've talked about before. That just reduces the air that can get in, the water that can get in, and flat out just looks better when your slides are recessed back in. There's your docking lights. 
All right, well, the big change, biggest change for this year has to be right here, the option for a Spartan chassis. Um, I've showed you some of the things that they put some of the filters in a better spot. Their, their dash is a little different. Um, I think their control to get to the comfort drive is a little easier, but a lot of people, once they set that, they don't mess with it much, but um, I, I think it's a, a little smoother. Um, and then back here, we have the uh, hookup for the air supplied, like a, uh, a Air Force One towing system, uh, braking system for your toad. This coach is already plumbed for that, so you only have to do your toad, you don't have to do the toad and the coach. This will flat tow 10,000 pounds, uh, so no worries there, tow what you want to tow behind it. Easy engine access, again, there's no other short bus out there that's given you everything that this coach has given you and to put a side radiator on it instead of a rear radiator. This means you can still get to your engine, you can still get to, if you had to change that fan belt on the, on the road, it's, a, it's an easy operation, or that serpentine belt rather. So makes everything just so much nicer. I'm gonna close that down. You can see this is one of the cameras for the uh, uh, both backup and for the 360 camera. As we walk around to the side, you can see your radiator stacked over here. Our DEF fill is right here. These are Michelin 305 tires. One of the changes for 2021, they did away with the white background um, and they went to um, a stainless background. It looks so much better. I, I don't think at the end of the day that changes how we RV, but man, that looks good. Of course, this is a heated compartment because all your water systems are in here. Uh, this does have uh, the SantaCon system on it, so it has a macerator. If you want to dump using a macerator, you can. If you want to dump your tanks, just gravity, you can. They have definitely upgraded the outside shower out here as well. That's actually metal now instead of a flimsy piece of plastic. We can check our tank levels. We don't have to run inside to do that. We have a power hose reel, so we don't have to have a separate compartment for the power hose reel. And we have a whole house water filtration system because, you know, depending on where you're at, uh, your campground water can be eh. um, All right, moving up, we have an Oasis system. This is an all-electric coach. This system supplies all of our hot water and is our primary heating system for the coach. Again, we did a separate video on hydronic systems. So this is a hydronic heating system. If you want to learn more about that, please go to YouTube and hit Mount Comfort RV, hydronic heating systems, and we will have a, a special video dedicated to how those work and what their benefits are. This is our 50 amp shore power cord. We do have a built-in surge protector in this coach, and this is where we would dump the uh, vacuum uh, if we wanted to get in there and change out the vacuum bag. We did option in another storage tray over here on the back of the electric tray. All right, a couple more little storage cubbies. You got a little storage here next to your inverter, and then that is your sewer hose storage. And again, that is dedicated storage to just the sewer hose. We have our eight AGM batteries right there on a pull-out tray. Again, fuel fills from either side. As we come forward, we're going to see some Spartan electronics here. The generator is running right now. It's very quiet. Um, Spartan electronics, but a little bit of storage. You can certainly uh, keep a jug of window washer fluid or something in there if you wanted to. Up front, we have the diamond shield all over this to protect it from the bugs and the small rock chips. New for 2021 is this is spring loaded now, so it doesn't uh, doesn't have the prop rod, so that's nice. It's an 8kW generator, which is more than you're ever going to need. We did option in the hot water to generator feature, so that you can clean bugs with hot water instead of cold water. All right, let's show you the awnings opened up. Gerard awnings on this coach and Gerard window awnings. Just want to show you a little example of those so you can see what they look like. This is where we spend our, our time. This is out here under our easy chair. There's one over the bedroom too. I didn't want to walk all the way through and get that, but it looks just like this one. 
So I hope you've enjoyed seeing a little bit of the, the 2021 New Air. These are the Nova awnings, by the way. You can tell they're Novas because they bend in the middle. That just increases the amount of shade that you have. It's a beautiful coach. It has the stainless trim package on it. It is for sale here now at uh, Mount Comfort RV in Greenfield, Indiana. We're the closest dealer to the factory, if that matters to you at all. Um, certainly matters to us. We love uh, having, having that uh, feather in our cap. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Please call me with any questions you might have about this. Thanks for watching. Again, my name is Chris Anderson. I'm with Mount Comfort RV. Hope to see you soon.